Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video, we will continue the work that we were doing in the past video, uh, trying to make uh, some test driven development in Visual Studio 2010. Okay, and uh, also learning how to uh, check in your source code into the Team Foundation server, associating this with a work item. So, if you remember, we were um, we just created uh, our first unit test in the trust driven development way where we're just instantiating a new instance well sorry a new instance of the manager class and getting a list of books and asserting it is not null as you already know this is just not passing right click there this is not passing so how to make this actually pass let's close this and quick notice we are uh, going to use a database for this exercise if i open my SQL Server Management Studio. Let me show you, we are using the Pops database, a very popular and old database, okay, back from the SQL Server 2000 days. And it's a simple database that has uh, some information um, on books, okay, books, book sales, and that stuff. So we will be using that database. You will easily find that in the, in the web. So, and uh, what we want to do now is to go to the bookstore.business uh, project, click Add New Item. And let's go to the data uh, category and select ADO.NET entity data model. Being here, let's um, add a new model and let's let's use some useful name. Let's call this Pops Entities, as we will be using some entities from the Pops database. So let's hit Add. Okay. So we will select generate from the database. Okay, this is this is our database, SQL Express that pops up DBO. If you don't have this this option right here, just click new connection and uh, go ahead and create your connection. So let's call these pops entities. This is the name in the application configuration file where the connection stream will be created. And here uh, Visual Studio is retrieving all the objects that it's finding in this database. For now we will just select the tables and let's name this pops model and let's click finish so what the, this wizard is going to do right now is adding all the references to the ado.net uh, entity data model and it is creating our our diagram our entities diagram will will it is just as you can see right now it is placing all the tables that we selected from the wizard and it's also adding all the references from these tables so it is a very useful model for our job. So we will be very interested in this title, in this title table. So let's go here and let's go to the book manager class, which right now has a get book list method, which has something that we don't really want to have right there. So what we want to do now is to write the code for this. So Let's just delete this and we will just use some uh, link to entities to retrieve the, the information that we want and we want to retrieve information remember from this um, title table let me do this okay so we have some idea of what we are doing here okay we want to retrieve information from title table and on the fly we will just create instances of the book of the book class that we already defined in our in our test. How to do that? So first thing to do, we need a context to do this. So we will just call pops entities. Let me go back to the other intelligence configuration. Control Alt Spacebar. This makes it easier to select uh, objects that we already have. So pops entities. Let's call it context equals new pops entities. So. Let's say we want a bar, a books, a books um, variable, and let's say select from B for book in context that titles, okay, which is the table we want to get info from. Select what are we going to select? A new book, okay. So this book. It will be made up of the following attributes. Let's say an ID. We also always record an ID, which is B dot title ID. Okay, 
as you can see we don't have an ID attribute so let's just create it binary property stop for ID in bookstore business book okay it now exists now let's go for title equals b dot title one okay we will create all the this stuff in the end type equals b dot sorry b dot type okay price equals b dot price and the final one will be description equals b that pop date okay let's create all these uh, oops what am i doing here it's comma 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 so let's create the title property okay let's create the um, description property okay okay so a little mistake here this will be a small t and a small p now that we do that generate property for type and generate property for price now let's just close this column there we go so we are creating a new book this book if I hit okay let's go to definition you can see the book class now has all these uh, attributes these properties and now what we want is to return this books this books variable but convert it into a list so we do to list and that's it this should be working now um, but just a small a small addition let's do this okay and let's open this a little bit you see this application configuration file this one uh, has the connection string and for this test for the test to run you will have to add a new configuration file into the test project let's add oh, sorry let's right click and add new item and in this list let's use application configuration file so this is the the configuration for the test let's copy the connection string and paste it here and that's it if we go now to uh, our test class right click and hit run tests okay the test will be run this time using our brand new implementation and as you can see we get green so the test is now passing very easy final task as we have already finished this let's right click here and we need to add this search into source control so let, we just hit check in let's say um, get um, book list method implemented okay you see this is all the, the source that you're checking in and a good practice always always go to work items and select the work item that you're that is related to this check-in okay this is very important for tracking later in the in the project so build the book list screen check here okay as this is not really resolving all the all the tasks so we will just associate this associate this for for this time so let's hit check in okay so that's it and you can see you can see logs in each of the files because all this information is now into the source control as you can see right here okay so that's it for now. Thank you and see you soon.